I'm standing in front of, I'm kneeling in front of a canvas here that I'm preparing for a commission. And uh, I've got 10 coats of gesso on here, uh, nine to 11. So I say 10. Um, and this is a stretch canvas. I made the stretcher myself. Uh, I'll turn it around to show it to you. And just explain a couple of things here. The reason for this piece of cardboard was temporarily earlier on, uh, before I restretched it, this created a bit of a barrier so that when I was gessoing, these bars wouldn't uh, create an impression. Uh, I did subsequently uh, restretch it, and as you'll see, as you can see, there's a, it's a, almost a quarter inch gap here. Really important, and there should be, uh, you know, also a decent gap here. And that gap is essential uh, because the last thing you want is to have those uh, bars making an impression in your painting. So um, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, this is a really super thick canvas. I guess this is the last thing I should say. Really super thick canvas, which is much less susceptible to damage. But even so, um, uh, it's, you know, it is possible for these bars to leave an impression, which is extremely problematic, even on the edges. Um, and uh, with a really uh, typical canvas, it has a lot of uh, canvas texture to it. So the reason for those nine to 11 coats of gesso is to, uh, in this case, it's going to be a highly detailed painting. So to minimize, minimize and eliminate uh, almost all evidence of canvas texture. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.